Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. This is going to be just a quick one. It is another recall video and it's by News 4 Jacks. It's a number four in the middle. J-A-X. FDA recalls 10 more hand sanitizer products. Remember back when all the COVID was, you know, couldn't do anything. Churches were all closed. I believe most of them are open now. But anyway, there was a lot of hand sanitizer recalls. And now, numbers are climbing back up and there's more recalls. Alright, let's take a look at this one. Ten new hand sanitizer products have been added to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration's growing recall list. The FDA's list of potentially unsafe on ineffective or ineffective, it should be, that's a typo, hand sanitizing products is now up to 212, is warning consumers not to use 212 either due to methanol contamination or because they contain concerningly low levels of ethyl, ethyl alcohol or isopropyl alcohol which are active ingredients in hand sanitizer products. Sounds like you could make your own, huh? Just take your bottle of alcohol and put in a little hand lotion and shake it up. I kind of think that's what they're doing around here, but I can't say that for sure. No, that we, there was a time when you couldn't get the stuff, you know, enough of it. All right. Methanol, which is used in fuel, solvents, and antifreeze. Hmm. Sounds like we talked about that earlier. Is poisonous to humans and substantial exposure could result in nausea, vomiting, headache, blurred vision, permanent blindness, seizures, and coma. Oh my. Permanent damage, oh, that was coma, comma. Permanent damage to the nervous system or death, the FDA warns. This is important because there's hand sanitizers everywhere. How are we supposed to know what we're putting on our hands everywhere we go? I'd say take your own. Make sure you know what you're using. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said you should use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% isopropyl. And, and you know, let, let me just add right here, it's still the best thing to do is to wash your hands if you're concerned about getting germs of any kind from anybody wash your hands all right now the full list of hand sanitizing products to avoid all right there's there's this is not 212 so I'll tell you what, let me just put the list, because it's so tiny, I don't think I'm going to be able to read it properly without sticking my head all the way into the camera. So let me just leave the link in the description box. And if you don't, you know, you just buy whatever's the cheapest on sale, you might want to take a look at this. Look at the list, the latest list. It's more than 10, but it's not 212. So I'm wondering if page one of one. Oh, I just clicked on a down arrow. 
Hold on now. Oh my goodness. That brought me to the whole list. Oh my goodness. So I guess that's the whole list. And it looks like they're in alphabetical order, which helps if you want to just check out what you bought and maybe save this as a link to your computer if you can or if you use a phone you probably can't I mean some of this stuff I, I don't know how you save stuff on a phone uh, there's so much stuff my phone can do I still don't know how to use it but I don't want to download a bunch of stuff onto it because some of it is sketchy not necessarily that it's bad to look at but that it has a virus embedded I already got that and had to reset my phone back to like it was new so now I don't download anything on it but if you know what you're doing I guess you know how to check out if a site is safe or not if you want to download something like this on your phone I don't know it's up to you I'm just going to say I'm going to end it now and I will put this link in the description box so you can check it out if you want to Okay, with that I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.